Well, hello. <laughs> How are you? Oh, Lord, I got to try something here and see if it's going to work for me. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, welcome to the first again, I guess. Ask the Wizard almost daily show for May 21st. And I actually, it went live at exactly 2.22. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> Computers are great when they work and they drive you crazy when they, do <laughs> when they don't. I have a, so this here, you can kind of see it. So this is my control panel. And from this is where I can switch to different scenes. So I can switch cameras over here. I can switch to the camera over here, switch back again. I can pull up, this is where I pull up Mr. Flipchart. So there's Mr. Flipchart, of course. So, so it's all, it's all programmed in here. So I don't have to do anything with the keyboard. Works really well most of the time. <laughs> For whatever reason, not today, but just this this before the show, it keeps losing the Wi-Fi because it uses Wi-Fi to talk to everything, <laughs> and it's always just so. Yeah, their computers are great when they work, folks. I tell you, and when they don't, they drive you crazy. I'm just going to make sure it's it's streaming now, because who knows anymore. By the way, if you're watching, I would I I can see the number of viewers, but I can't see who you are. So if you wanted to stop in. And um, oh, yeah, we're good. If you wanted to, uh, yes, go away. There we go. Okay. If you wanted to say hi, that would be so cool. Share, share, share. We're all in this together. So I've been, well, we've been doing a lot of things in this last while, um, sort of re retrofitting the curriculum for online delivery and all that, that cool kind of stuff. I'm just going to turn the volume down a little bit so not quite so hot and all that all that fun stuff and and for many of you have are now on the uh, have your own portal on the Asta Wizard metaphysics the whoa ho ho where's my oops ah! let's try that again uh, a lot of words ask the wizard metaphysics academy you have your own portal on that either your existing Reiki students and we've added you in or you've you've uh, subscribed to some new courses or things like that. So that's perfect. If you are an existing student of ours and you would like access to the, well, level Reiki level one and two, you do have the complete curriculum online. Very well done. I have, I have to say there's a lot of really good content there. It's divided into modules and all that kind of cool stuff. There's some convergence method on there. And just, if you just go to ask the wizard, you'll, you'll see it and, uh, and see all the different courses that are on there. But anyway, if you're an existing student, let me know and we'll set you up a free account and give, excuse me, give you access to all that cool stuff. It, it really, it works really well. Uh, the 777 Club, you guys know about the 777 Club. I'll talk a little bit about that today is on there as well. And uh, it, it's working really good. Really pleased with it. It's, it's designed to be accessed from a computer, but also a device as well. Phone works as well. We've structured the videos. As, as best we can and actually it's worked out really well so you can even with your phone you can, you can see them clearly and all that all that kind of stuff so the almost daily ask the wizard now i can't remember how long ago this was boy a few years ago now but i actually uh, had a, a facebook live show that i called ask the wizard and, and it was almost daily <laughs> so it wasn't a daily show it was almost daily <laughs> and uh, we've been doing a lot of things i've been doing more work on the youtube channel doing more of the sort of i don't know if you call it pre-processed videos for to be viewed on the youtube channel and then shared to facebook and things like this and I don't know. I guess it was kind of like for those of you that are part of the 777 club, it'd be in step four, which is inspired action. Uh, I did that live yesterday and it, it really felt good. And looking back for me, the, the live interaction. So Facebook lives just like this one are just, so I enjoy doing them. So, it feels good, right? And that's what we do with inspired action, right? We follow that that feeling. And it 
uh, yeah, and it allows us to allows me to interact with you guys and you guys to check, you know, interact with me and different things like this. So uh, we're kind of changing things up again in that respect as I'm going to be doing more of the live shows. And then I'll probably just move them over to YouTube so they're archived there for nothing else. But I mean, it's a live show that's where it's at, right? You can reach out to you guys. You can reach out to me. So it's the, I don't know if you want to call it the revitalization of the, the uh, yeah, the Ask the Wizard. I don't have a promo graphic for that. But anyway, well, you kind of see in the first one. The Ask the Wizard almost daily Facebook live show is going to have different segments, different features. I'm going to talk about a few of them today. We'll do a few of them today. And it's also for you. So any questions that you have, any wonderings that you have, any any topics that would you would like uh, me to talk about, or you would like to talk about with me as well, because we will be having interviews with different folks. We used to do that uh, you know, a while ago as well. So we'll be bringing that back. So if you have something you want to talk about, if you've got a new service, if you've got a new product, if you started your own practice, especially in, in the whole zombie apocalypse, right? Is what I call this damn thing we've been in for over a year now. And then for me, it's very much living from the other side. So living from the other side right here, right? Living from the other side is right there. Uh, yeah, oh, it looks like the switch is going to work for me. We'll see. I'm putting it here because it seems if I put it there, it doesn't like it. So I don't know. I quit trying to figure these things out. You go with the flow. If you would like to talk about something, if there's something on your heart, on your mind, then let me know and we'll bring you in. You don't have to leave your house. We can just pipe you in through whatever you have, a phone or your webcam or whatever it is, and we'll do a show about it as well. So some of the features. Just hold on. I'm just... Hey, uh, you got to love it how source is trying to... Sh shows up it just shows up i've talked to several people experienced it myself mary joe's experienced it as well the i don't know what yeah actually sometimes the exhaust it, whoa exhaustion i need more coffee hold on the flat out exhaustion and the sleeping without sleeping and all that kind of thing that people have been experiencing, I mean, for a while now, and even just this last little while, people have been experiencing it. What, I, what I'm hearing uh, for myself and seeing with the, the, um, the different people that I follow and stuff like this. So you know what, this is sort of a, I'm gonna call this a current event or news tip. So let's just, we're gonna go to the news tip. Hold on. So practical spirituality, almost daily tip. There's probably some of you that have been feeling that experience of sleeping without sleeping, feeling exhausted, feeling like everything's moving and shifting and, and surreal and all those type of words. What I've been hearing and what I'm seeing through the different folks that I follow and things like that, is that's a similar experience that a lot of different people are, are having. And what I think it is, and this kind of aligns with, again, the different people that I follow, is that, I don't know, maybe it's a, a creative decision more than an observation, but we've been in this for a long time now. And for me, what I, I heard Source, because Source often speaks in, in phrases for me, or sort of anchors almost for an understanding. And it was sort of a creating beauty from the ashes. And as I kind of thought about that, it does fit in with what we've been noticing over the last while now, long while. Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's bring Mr. Flipchart in. We're gonna to go to Mr. Flipchart, hold on. This is usually up here, so I'm gonna try it. Let's just cross our fingers, hold our breath, and see if it works. So let's bring in Mr. Flipchart, hold on. And now it's not gonna work. Isn't that amazing? So if we take it here. I don't know. I don't know, that's the greatest thing ever. And if I put it on this metal tray, for whatever reason, today it doesn't like it. When it's on the metal tray, it doesn't work. 
Oh, Lord Almighty. So, okay. Oh, here, let me take this off. Otherwise, it's going to be clicking and clacking away for you guys. So, this is you. I've got my fan going because this computer heats up pretty good now. No, it's doing good. Okay, so this is you. So, this is your I am, right? Your soul, your spirit, your higher self. And this is the, I guess you would say the picture maybe that that came from the whole beauty from the ashes and all that kind of stuff was this is you, this is me, this is us. And it's almost like there were these tall, I don't can't draw where it's a darn, but you know that there's, it's like these tall buildings right around us. When I was in, uh, I don't teach in that hotel anymore because they converted that the condos, the dirty dogs, because I really liked it. So it was a, it was a hotel in, in uh, downtown Winnipeg that I would teach in. And it, it was basically like an apartment. So the rooms were like, they were big, big apartments is what they were. Uh, really enjoyed it. It was, I don't know, four blocks away from uh, the Forks. Uh, if you've ever been to Winnipeg, you know what I mean when I say the Forks, beautiful spot by, down by the river. And there was another building right across the street from it. And it wasn't, it wasn't as tall as the hotel that I was in, but it's a really neat example of what we're talking about right here where, uh, well, we're going to have to fix this here a little bit. So we're going to go up. So this was higher. There we go. So this is higher than this one. <laughs> here we go. And, so depending on what floor I had my room on, if so, if I was on the, if I was on this, the second floor and I look out, I see the other building like across the street. But if I could get high enough up, now I could look over the building and oh yeah, now, okay, now we're flowing. Okay. This, okay. This makes sense. So what would happen often is God, I need more coffee. What would happen often is when you're in here, I mean, this is all you can see is, is that building that's a block, like across the street. Now, does that mean that this was not there? Of course it was there. It was there all the time. It's just, I couldn't see it because this was my perspective. So I was like, I was on the second floor looking out and all I could see was the other building. So then what happens is we grow and we, I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit more. It looks kind of hot. As we grow, we expand, we evolve and all that cool stuff. What happens is we're moving up. And so our perspective changes. Now this doesn't change. This is always there. And in a way this building hasn't, didn't change. That was always there. But as our vibration rose or our set point rose and all of a sudden we could see what was on the other side of the building. Now the building was still there. We were still aware that the building was there. It's just, we could see over it. Okay. But this is what's happened in the last, I don't know, probably the last year is I'm going to erase some stuff. Oops. I think my computer is getting hot because it's slowing down. Let me just do this so I can get more air to it. There we go. <laughs> and so what has happened is in this, again, over the, well, well over a year now, like I like to think of it as like grinding of millstones and just grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding. You see these, these buildings, that were belief systems, that were external structures, that were all these outside organizations. And you've heard me say this often, but I've, I've always said that you used to, to be able to be born, live and die without ever having to think because you had, so you had these buildings that determined how far you could see. And so what we did was we decided that our life experience, our future, our growth, 
was limited by as far as we can see, which makes a lot of sense. Because if you're on this level, all you can see is that building. So it would make sense that, I mean, you forget really that there's anything even on the other side of it. So you just kind of go about your daily life, determining, deciding, desiring what fits inside this very limited sphere of possibilities. Now, yes, as you grow, as you expand, as you evolve, you go up and then you can see more. But that's a bit of a process, which is fine, but it's a bit of a process. But what we're seeing happening is so many of these structures now are actually falling apart. Or, I mean, globally, a lot of the absolutes, a lot of the truths, a lot of those belief systems, a lot of those external organizations and systems and all that kind of stuff are really collapsing under their own weight. And so now what happens is these things are now gone. Or at the very least, they're sitting kind of in shambles all down here. And so even though it's really easy to look around and see confusion and just all this mess around us, if we choose, we can now see a lot further than maybe we've been able to for a long, long time. Maybe, that's almost a rhetorical, maybe for the first time, maybe our lifetime, without, and it's not like we're, we're not still growing, expanding, and evolving, but, but it's almost like there's a loophole right now <laughs> that we can jump what would take, so it takes, you know, you go 10 floors up and then you can see further, well, now all the obstructions have disappeared, so we don't have to get up and up and up so we can see. Now it's like the buildings are, are destroyed or they're in shambles, so all of a sudden you can go, oh man, all of a sudden, I can see over here and I can see over here and I can see over here, and it's like just bang, all of a sudden, all these potentials are appearing. And, it, and to me, it makes sense that that's gonna throw a person out of whack a little bit, because all of a sudden, there's these all these horizons. Have you ever done this? I've I've had this experience before, where you're you're driving, you're driving, you're driving, you're looking for a place, or maybe the the terrain is changing, and you pop up over a hill, and as you look over the horizon, it's like a whole different world. Often, for those of you in in Alberta, that's where our home base is, driving into the mountains west of Calgary, you kind of drive and drive, and then there's spots where you kind of drive up, and you turn around a a, a foothill, I'll call it, and all of a sudden, it's like there they are. And it almost takes your breath away. And it just seems like it was this terrain, and then you turn a corner, and then it's this. And so in many respects, that's what we feel is happening right now, is that all of a sudden, yeah, I think my computer's eating up. <laughs> all of a sudden, you can see so much further. And I think, see, that's, that's a really neat thing about this is it's really easy to look down and to see the mess. But I think, like I said, maybe for the first time in a long, long while, you can look out and see a lot further than you maybe ever have before. Which means there are so many more possibilities now. There are so many more desires that you didn't even contemplate desiring because you couldn't see past that building right across the street. But those buildings have collapsed now. And so now all of a sudden you can see. So now it's up to you. Now, now it's up to you as to, to what, what are you gonna choose now? That's why for me, the, the 777 Club is just, so powerful and so timely for right now. So what's the 77, 777 Club? You've probably heard me talk about it. 
but it's uh, it's really a combination of things now. It's a really powerful community of people that are are choosing to support each other and to learn and to grow in that spirit of community. It's a Facebook group, a private private Facebook group. There's a weekly Zoom gathering where we meet, and then every week. We have, I post a video, so tonight's Friday, so this Sunday evening, I'll post a video based on the five steps from the manifesting manual. And it's, it's got one topic and one to do. So it's got one homework assignment. And so what you do is you practice that assignment. And then we meet the following Sunday. We discuss it. We share our experiences. We build on it. And we support each other. So it's, it's for me, it's really powerful right now, especially because what we're doing is we're building something really, again, almost that, that beauty from the ashes, that, that rubble. We're building something from that without a lot of the constraints that we had before because we can see so much further now. We have access to resources that were always there, but we weren't aware that we had access to them. If you want to know more about it, go to healingcenter.ca. Click on Ask the Wizard Metaphysics Academy. You'll see the 770 Club, 777 Club there, and you can always check that out as well. So a couple of features. Now, I would love to put it there because it's so much easier, but it just doesn't seem to want to cooperate, so we're going to go with it. <laughs> And you've seen me do it. My, my, I am falling apart today. There you go. You'll see. Uh, uh, I used to do the practical spirituality videos on YouTube and post them. What we're going to do is we're going to have a practical spirituality segment on the Almost Daily Show, which looks like, of course. So your practical spirituality tip for today. Uh, I must be doing something right because this wouldn't be happening otherwise. There we go. Try this one more time. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Anyway. <laughs> Shoot. So this is a little mini tip. A little sample, I suppose, of what you could see in the 777 Club. What is a story that you're telling about your external circumstances. So as we go into the May long weekend, it's May 21st, as we go into the May long weekend up here in Canada, it's it's going to be a really unique weekend. Of course, last year it was kind of the same thing probably because a lot of the activities that you would probably normally do on a May long weekend, you either can't do or they're, they're minimized or things like that. So your practical spirituality tip is be aware of the stories that you're telling yourself about the activities you're participating in. So when you're participating in any activities this weekend, is the story you're telling yourself and maybe telling others, boy, I would have, it's so sad that we can't do this or we can't do that or we're not able to do this or all those kind of things. What is the story that you're telling yourself about the activities you're going to be participating in in this weekend? And if it's a story that doesn't feel good, change the story. And this is something that we often don't realize. There's our external experience. And then there's the internalization of our external experience. Another way to put that is there's the story we tell ourselves about the external experience. And that makes a big, big difference. Because one of them causes you to contract and the other causes you to expand. What you'll notice is not just be aware of the story that you're telling yourself about the external experience, but be aware of the story that you're telling about your external experience and the way it feels in your body. You will find that there's that story of maybe all the things that you haven't been able to do because of this, all this stuff, which is very true, right? But how does the story feel? 
And then there's that story that's a better feeling story. Now, the better feeling story often has very little to do with external facts. So that's the thing. The first one tends to be an observation of the external facts. The second one tends to be a creative expression of what you would like to experience. And you're not trying to have that immediately show up in your physical. What you're doing is you're changing the flavoring of the stories as it feels to you because the better feeling stories has benefits in so many ways, not just physical, but also metaphysical. So your practical spirituality tip for the weekend, come on machine, we'll get it to work yet, is be aware of the story that you're telling yourself about the activities you're participating in, how it feels. Doesn't feel good? Tell a better feeling story. Does it have to make sense? Does it have to be practical? Does it have to be logical? Absolutely not. Tell a better feeling story. And that is your practical spirituality tip for the, what you're almost daily practical spirituality tip. Okay, so we've got the practical spirituality segment. We also have the 777 Club. So the 777 Club free tip is a mini version of what you experience in the 777 Club. Boy, you see that fast four or five or six times. <laughs> so it's a little tip, just a little mini tip, a little sampler. So you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like that if you want to become a member, that's cool. It's based upon the five step manifesting process. The first step is creating your perfect desire or your perfect C, those of you that are members of the club or attended our manifesting workshops know what I mean by that. The second step is living your desire on the inside and feeling it. Third step is managing the resistances. This is probably where most of our work is. The fourth step, and actually that is the topic of this week's teaching video that's coming out Sunday night. We call it inspired action. And step five, often the one that's overlooked, is celebrating your victory. So your mini tip for the almost daily show, because it's almost daily, <laughs> is celebrate your victories. There are no small and no big victories. So this weekend, again, coming into the May long weekend, celebrate every single victory, anything and everything. And this is something that we often trip ourselves up with because we go, there are small victories and there are big victories. And what you will see in the powerful manifestors is that they celebrate every victory as though they were the same from the ones that we would call big or the ones that we would call small. And especially right now, every little thing that you could even think you could call a win or a victory, celebrate it, celebrate it, celebrate it anywhere, anything. Because that's such an important piece of the manifesting cycle. Because what you're doing is, if you will, rewarding yourself for your effort. There's no big, there's no small victory. Celebrate them all. And that's your free 777 Club tip. <music> Okay, so there is the 777 Club. Ah, wow. <laughs> the club, there's a free tip. There is this. Your daily tip. Really, that one is very mechanical techniques that you can use to manage your everyday experience. So the 777 Club is very much about building and creating. The practical spirituality is about managing your daily experience. Really practical nuts and bolts techniques on how to manage your experience. We have, uh, okay, then we have the meditation. Now we're gonna have interviews. I haven't got graphics for all this, but interviews, I, I think that's really gonna be fun. So again, if you have topic you wanna talk about, if you have something that you're passionate about, if you're started up a new service, if you're a new a business person or something like that, whatever it may be, I would love to have you on the show. You don't have to go anywhere. You can just stay at home. Talk on your phone, we can tap you in really easy, or your computer, or however that may work. Remember, we're all in this together. 
And it, especially now, it's so important to remember that. We're all in this together. Share, 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 support each other. As you've always heard me say, community with a capital C, right? Community is designed to be. That's, that's really in a foundation of cooperation, not competition. It's not about finding fault or critiquing. It's about supporting and encouraging. So often, we, we slip into this looking for what's wrong so we can fix it, often with the best of intentions. But what we don't realize, and I'm not saying there's never a spot for that, but so often we're so much leveraged over there. How often do we pick the things that we congratulate ourselves about others? Uh, rewarding ourselves, right, in the last segment. Supporting each other, acknowledging those, those areas that we have in common, acknowledging those, those wins, right? Acknowledging those just as much, and actually in my personal experience, about 10 times more than you focus on what's wrong that needs to be fixed. Because remember, the frequency of the solution, a better, 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 is different than the frequency of the problem. Got to fix, fix, fix. So the other topic we have will be guided meditations. Now, this is really going to be kind of cool because they won't be long, but I was going to say I think, and that's not true. I know this is very, very important. Again, especially now, meditation, understanding what that is. We actually have a meditation course, Meditation 101. It should be on the Ask the Wizard Academy. You could always head over there and check it out. But your spiritual practice, connecting to that, that place inside you, that we feel a sense of peacefulness and groundedness. So important, right? Not just because things have been, again, grinding, grinding, grinding down, but now we have this opportunity, as I talked about, to create something amazing within that. And, and where the stability and the groundedness and the power and the passion is going to come from, it comes from your spiritual practice. And so the meditation portion will just be short guided meditations. They may have a little bit of healing in with them. You just never know. They won't be too long. They'll be just nice little clips, give you a little bit of a boost to help you through your day, well, at least almost daily. <laughs> so how about we finish off today's show with a little guided meditation? Okay. What I want you to do and I'll be editing this out. So if you're in a spot, you're not able to participate, that's okay. I'll edit it out and put it on Facebook and on YouTube as well. I ask that you just make yourself comfortable, as comfortable as you can be. Again, if it doesn't fit right now, just listen and you'll be able to participate. That's it later. Get as comfortable whatever position that looks like for you. And close your eyes and focus on your breath. And feel the air as it flows in and out and in and out. And listen to the sound of my voice. Fill our lungs completely with air. We let our diaphragm expand a little bit. Nice, conscious breath. We find that there is so much power in simplicity. And something as deceptively innocuous and taken for granted is just simply breathing. Feeling the air as it flows in and out. 
feel what it feels like. As you let your diaphragm extend a little bit and your lungs fill with air and then you just hold it for a moment and then relax and release it. Perfect. Just allow the music in the background in my voice. The body starts to relax. The busyness of the day starts to fade away. Oh, it may still be there, but it's not quite as loud. Just allow your body to feel whatever it wants to feel. Doesn't matter whether you feel something or nothing. If you find that your focus has wandered, you were thinking about oh, what I did yesterday or what I need to do later today or tomorrow or the day after that. It's okay. When you do, just bring your focus back to your breath. And feel that air as it flows in and out in the music in my voice. You may notice your breathing starts to deepen, maybe even slow. Your body may start to feel heavy. You may feel different sensations. You may become aware of tension in certain parts of your body that you never noticed before. If you do, as you gently place your focus there, you will find they will probably simply melt away. You're not trying to make them go. You're not trying to figure them out. You're just gently moving your focus to them and observing them. Nothing more, nothing less. You're just feeling what you feel. Feeling your breath flowing in and out. And in and out. And the sound of my voice. And the music. this most interesting sense of peacefulness creeping in. And even though you may still be aware of the busyness and everything that you have to do, it is starting to be washed away by the sensation of peacefulness in your body. this moment, maybe just for this moment, but in this moment, there's nothing that you have to do, there's no one that you have to be, there's no expectations that you have to meet, succeed, there's no to-do list, there's no bank accounts and no body shapes, no hectic schedule, no deadline. In this moment, there is just you, your breath, the music, and my voice. Wonderful. Well, this is our inaugural episode of the Ask the Wizard almost daily show went off pretty well a few hitches mostly because this didn't like to be set where it's supposed to sit <laughs> but we got it we got it figured out i don't know where it went to now i tell you what i found is one of the ways it's not interesting i don't know that now one of the ways to one of, the, one of the handy indicators that you're you're moving in the right direction especially if you change direction or direction or something like that is when you feel resistance. So if you've made a decision, I'm going to do this, going to do this, going to go this way, going to do this, going to do this. And like right after you do that, it's like st stupid things go wrong like this. When I decided to do this, that's often your best indicator that you're heading in the right direction and just lean through that resistance 
and just keep on keeping on. All right, guys, this has been fun. If you have any ideas, any comments, if you want to be on the show, any topics, any segment ideas, you know how to find me. Share, share, share. We're all in this together. See you on the web.